China just delivered another shock to the global tech industry. First, it was Intel. Now, NVIDIA could be next. At the center of this storm is Huawei, a company once crippled by U.S. sanctions, now roaring back with its own line of artificial intelligence chips. These chips aren't just about replacing American technology in China's government systems. They represent a direct challenge to NVIDIA's dominance in AI. If Huawei succeeds, it could shake the very foundation of the trillion-dollar AI revolution. So what exactly is happening and why should NVIDIA investors be worried? Let's break it down. When China announced that it was cutting Intel processors out of government systems, the world understood it wasn't just about technology. It was about power. Intel had been a cornerstone of American dominance in computing for decades. And suddenly, Beijing made it clear. Reliance on U.S. chips was over. But the story doesn't stop with Intel. In fact, Intel may have only been the opening act. The real showdown is shaping up with NVIDIA, the company at the very heart of the global artificial intelligence revolution. To understand why, let's step back for a moment. NVIDIA isn't just another chip company. It's the beating heart of AI innovation. From powering ChatGPT and self-driving cars to training the most advanced large language models in the world, NVIDIA's GPUs are everywhere. In fact, when you hear about companies racing to build AI factories, chances are they're powered by NVIDIA's hardware. Its flagship chips like the H100 and the newly announced Blackwell series aren't just fast, they've become the gold standard. Owning NVIDIA chips today is like owning oil in the 20th century. It's that central to the new economy. That's exactly why China sees NVIDIA as both a target and a threat. For Beijing, it's no longer acceptable to depend on a U.S. company for the most critical technology of the future. Every time a Chinese tech giant like Baidu or Tencent buys NVIDIA chips, billions of dollars flow out of China and into Silicon Valley. And with U.S. export restrictions tightening, banning the sale of NVIDIA's most advanced AI processors to Chinese companies, the risks are clear. China could be locked out of the AI race if it doesn't create its own alternatives. And this is where Huawei steps back into the spotlight. Once left for dead after American sanctions cut it off from Google services and advanced semiconductors, Huawei has rebuilt itself with surprising speed. Not only has it survived, but it is now developing its own AI chips that directly compete with NVIDIA's crown jewels. That's why the Intel ban feels less like an isolated story and more like a warning shot. If China can cut out Intel from government contracts, What's stopping it from replacing NVIDIA with Huawei in AI research centers, universities, and state projects? In other words, what started as a strike against Intel may now escalate into a full-blown campaign against NVIDIA. And the consequences won't just be about who makes the fastest chip. They could determine who leads the world in artificial intelligence for the next decade. To grasp why Huawei's new chips are making headlines, we need to remember where the company stood just a few years ago. When the U.S. government imposed sweeping sanctions in 2019, many analysts declared Huawei finished. Cut off from Google services on its smartphones, blocked from buying cutting-edge semiconductors, and barred from working with key suppliers like TSMC, Huawei looked like a fallen giant. For Washington, this was supposed to be the end game. Cripple Huawei, and China's march into global tech leadership would stumble. But something very different happened. Huawei didn't vanish. It went underground and doubled down on R&D. It shifted resources away from consumer gadgets into areas that could make it strategically vital for China's future. That decision has now brought the company to the forefront of artificial intelligence chips. Enter the Ascend series. The Ascend 910B, Huawei's flagship AI processor, represents a leap few thought possible under sanctions. Built in cooperation with SMIC, China's top semiconductor manufacturer, this chip has proven capable of handling large-scale AI training workloads. While not as powerful as NVIDIA's H100 or the brand new Blackwell architecture, it offers something equally important, independence. For China, the ability to train large language models, power smart surveillance systems, and run AI-driven industrial automation without depending on American chips is a geopolitical victory in itself. What makes Huawei especially dangerous to NVIDIA is its ecosystem approach. It isn't just building chips, it's building the entire stack. Huawei's MindSpore framework works hand-in-hand -hand with the Ascend chips, 
providing Chinese developers with an open source platform tailored to local needs. It's comparable to Google's TensorFlow or Meta's PyTorch, but with one key advantage. It is fully optimized for Huawei's hardware and designed with Chinese government backing. That means billions of yuan in funding, state contracts, and a developer community encouraged, even pressured, to adopt it. Another key point is scalability. Huawei is not aiming for parity with NVIDIA overnight. Instead, it's focusing on creating chips that are good enough to serve China's vast domestic market. Beijing doesn't need chips that outperform NVIDIA's latest flagship today. It needs chips that can be deployed across thousands of data centers, universities, and government institutions tomorrow. Even if Ascend chips trail NVIDIA by a generation in raw performance, they could dominate within China simply because NVIDIA's most advanced GPUs are banned from sale there. There's also the matter of resilience. Huawei's comeback demonstrates that sanctions are a double-edged sword. By cutting the company off from U.S. technology, Washington forced it to innovate faster and rely more heavily on domestic supply chains. The result? A new generation of chips that may not beat NVIDIA today, but could narrow the gap over the next five years. Put simply, Huawei is no longer playing defense. It is positioning itself as a direct rival to NVIDIA in AI, not in Silicon Valley, but on home turf, where U.S. companies are shut out and local demand is booming. And that sets the stage for a collision between the world's leading AI chipmaker and the one nation determined to break America's monopoly. The next question is unavoidable. When you put Huawei's Ascend chips next to NVIDIA's H100s, how do they really compare? So where does Huawei stand in comparison? On paper, the Ascend 910B chip does not outperform the H100 in raw power. Benchmarks show that NVIDIA still has the edge in training speed, efficiency, and software compatibility. NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem, its proprietary software platform that developers use to program GPUs, remains unmatched, creating a lock-in effect that keeps global AI researchers loyal to NVIDIA. If you're a startup in Silicon Valley or a research lab in Europe, choosing NVIDIA is practically the default option. But here's where things get interesting. Huawei doesn't need to beat NVIDIA everywhere. It only needs to carve out dominance inside China. Because of US sanctions, NVIDIA cannot sell its top-tier chips like the H100 or Blackwell to Chinese companies. Instead, NVIDIA has been forced to offer downgraded versions with reduced capabilities that fall short of what American and European firms can buy. This creates a window of opportunity for Huawei. If the choice for a Chinese AI company is between a restricted NVIDIA chip and a fully supported Ascend processor, the decision becomes less about peak performance and more about accessibility, cost, and political alignment. Performance gaps also look different in practice. While NVIDIA's GPUs are faster, Huawei's chips are good enough to train many of the AI models that Chinese firms want to build. For example, training a massive trillion-parameter language model might still require NVIDIA's hardware. But for government-backed AI initiatives, citywide surveillance systems, or mid-sized commercial models, Huawei's Ascend chips provide adequate, and most importantly, available, solutions. Another overlooked factor is supply chains. NVIDIA relies heavily on TSMC in Taiwan to manufacture its most advanced chips. That dependence creates vulnerabilities, both geopolitical and logistical. Huawei, meanwhile, has aligned itself with SMIC, China's domestic chip maker. While SMIC cannot yet produce chips at the same level of sophistication as TSMC, it is improving rapidly under state support. If SMIC can scale production, Huawei will have a steady and politically secure supply of processors, insulating it from U.S. export bans. It's also important to consider the long game. NVIDIA's advantage is real, but it's built on a globalized system of trade and technology. Huawei's strategy, by contrast, is built on self-reliance. Over time, that strategy could pay off especially if geopolitical tensions continue to cut China off from Western suppliers. In a world divided into competing tech spheres, Huawei doesn't need to topple NVIDIA everywhere. It just needs to dominate within China 
and sell to aligned countries in Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. So, who's really ahead? Today, NVIDIA is still the king of AI chips globally, but Huawei is no longer a distant challenger. It is a viable competitor, at least within China, and could soon become the cornerstone of an alternative AI ecosystem that operates beyond the reach of American sanctions. And that leads us to the bigger picture. What does this clash mean for the global economy, geopolitics, and the investors betting on the future of AI? The battle between NVIDIA and Huawei isn't just a corporate rivalry. It's a reflection of a much bigger struggle, the race between the United States and China for technological dominance. And the stakes could not be higher. Artificial intelligence is often called the new electricity, a technology that will power every industry, from finance and healthcare to defense and national security. Whoever controls the chips that run AI controls the future of the global economy. For Washington, NVIDIA is more than just a company. It is a strategic asset. U.S. officials see NVIDIA's dominance in AI hardware as a way to preserve America's lead in technology. That's why the Biden and Trump administrations alike have tightened restrictions on NVIDIA chip exports to China. The logic is clear. If China doesn't have access to the most advanced GPUs, it can't train the most advanced AI models which in turn slows its progress in areas like autonomous weapons, cybersecurity, and economic planning. In other words, controlling NVIDIA's chips is a form of national defense. Beijing, of course, sees things very differently. From China's perspective, these restrictions are an existential threat. If the U.S. can choke off access to critical technology, it means China's economic rise can be slowed or even derailed. That's why Huawei's success with AI chips is celebrated inside China, not just as a corporate victory, but as a national triumph. Every Ascend chip produced is one less reason to depend on American technology. For global markets, this tug of war creates volatility. Investors love NVIDIA because it has been the single biggest winner of the AI boom. Its market cap soared into the trillions, making it one of the most valuable companies on Earth. But if Huawei begins to capture market share in China, a country that accounts for nearly one-third of global demand for high-performance chips, NVIDIA's growth story could take a hit. Even the perception that China no longer needs NVIDIA could rattle Wall Street. At the same time, Huawei's rise creates opportunities for investors aligned with China. Domestic Chinese firms that adopt Huawei's chips may see explosive growth, while allied nations in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East could begin integrating Huawei's ecosystem. This creates a bifurcated market, one AI infrastructure dominated by NVIDIA in the West, and another built around Huawei and SMIC in the East. The result is a fractured multipolar tech landscape, a world where there is no single standard, but rather competing technological blocks. For companies outside the US and China, this fragmentation poses tough choices. European firms, for example, may face pressure to stick with NVIDIA because of NATO alignment, but they may also see cost advantages in working with Huawei. Countries in the Middle East that buy energy technology from China may find it natural to buy AI infrastructure from Huawei as well. Every purchasing decision becomes political. For investors, this means the AI chip war is no longer just about technology stocks, it's about geopolitics. Owning NVIDIA is effectively betting on America's continued dominance. Betting on Huawei, directly or indirectly, is betting on China's ability to build a parallel tech ecosystem. And as tensions rise, these bets are colliding head-on. Which brings us to the final point. What does all of this mean for the future of AI in the world economy? What we are witnessing is more than just a chip rivalry. It's the dawn of a new technological cold war. On one side, NVIDIA stands as the symbol of American innovation, powering the global AI revolution. On the other, Huawei is rising from the ashes of sanctions, determined to prove that China can not only survive without U.S. technology, but thrive. This clash isn't just about performance metrics or market share, it's about control. Control over the infrastructure that will define the 21st century, every data center, every AI factory, Every autonomous system built in the coming years will rely on chips like NVIDIA's H100 or Huawei's Ascend. And as the world divides into competing spheres of influence, these chips become more than silicon. 
they become symbols of power. For investors, entrepreneurs, and ordinary citizens, the outcome will affect everything from stock markets to national economies. The future of AI will not be decided in boardrooms alone, but in the high-stakes geopolitical struggle between Washington and Beijing. This story is only beginning. And if you want to stay ahead of the next breakthrough or the next shock, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join us as we uncover the biggest shifts in global technology.